Okay, Magie is saying my sister is there. Is there? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Shazi? Okay, good. Can I give you three more minutes? I'm going to give you three more minutes. Give me one second. Um, I'm not sure you're talking. Okay, hey, brother. So, I've actually, I'm actually doing a live session on TikTok right now. That's going to be like the fastest way to deliver the message. And then I'm going to edit the press report. So, I'll stay right there. If, this, if I'm, if I'm going to have any questions, I'm going to be just recording and sending you voice notes and then you can just reply or you can even type no problem thank you okay good morning so turns out guys are you ready so turns out turns out that the ongoing clashes between Israel and Palestine has also affected Lebanon. BZP, how are you doing, man? Twenty Apple. Okay, so it turns out that the clashes between Palestine and Lebanon, sorry, and Israel has affected Lebanon. Actually, hold up. I'm going to keep on Okay, so then, so I have the ambassador here. If you have any questions, be free to answer. I mean, <laughs> sorry guys, listen, it's 4 a.m. over here, okay? I was literally about to go to sleep. <laughs> so, I received a courtesy call from the ambassador. Let me see. Okay. I got a Okay. This is what's happening. The clashes in southern Lebanon refer to the ongoing conflict between the Lebanese military and extremist extremist groups, particularly the ISIS and the Hezbollah in the southern region of the country. The conflict has, re has resulted in the deaths of many civilians and milit military personnel and has caused widespread destruction in the area. The situation remains unstable and complex with ongoing clashes and political tensions, tensions between different factions. So, someone is asking, yes, what's going to happen to us? Now, that's where the Kenyan embassy, the Kenyan consulate in Lebanon comes in. And I'm going to change my background. I'm going to change my background. Give me one second. Okay. I'm going to change my background. Kwa hivyo nyi wa Kenya wote ambao mko Lebanon. Nataka mwangalie hapa. Nataka mwangalie hapo. Can you see it? Okay, take it hapo. So, let me read this out to you. This is coming directly from the consulate. And it says important announcement the kenyan consulate in beirut calls on kenyan nationals to be cautious and stay away from areas of clashes especially in southern lebanon and to avoid being in the aforementioned areas the kenyan consulate has also placed at your disposal the number 711-75006 and the number 702-34006 to contact in case of an emergency. Be safe. Kwa hivo, 
make sure hizo namba ziko hapo mmeziandika kama uko Lebanon kama uko na any emergency and all this is because of the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine which has also affected Lebanon especially the southern region kama kuna mtu kuna maswali aulize sahi masani machache looking actually there's a this is um some of the updates right now okay Israel Lebanon reports of ongoing clashes near the Sheba farms area along the border um I'm also looking at a couple of exactly you see here Al Jazeera let, let, let's actually look at this and now though I want to bring in Elias Farhat you're a former Lebanese army general there have been developments on the border between Israel and Lebanon. You're joining us live from Beirut. Um, this is the other front that we're looking at today. There are multiple fronts, but this is one of them. And we had, we got pictures just a moment ago of the border area between Israel and Lebanon, and a large chunk of it was on fire after what appears to have been some kind of attack. Maybe start by putting that in context for us. That area, why that is a Okay, are you paying attention? Okay. So just based on this um um report, they're actually saying we have casualties in Lebanon and it's happening mainly at the border. Okay? Kama uko Lebanon na kuna maswali uliza sahi. Kama uko Lebanon na kuna place pa kuna hizi clashes ask questions right now. Kama unafanya kazi kama wewe ni Mkenya. If you are a Kenyan citizen who's working in Lebanon na uko ujipata kwa emergency because of what's going on right now. The consulate I'm here talking to the ambassador right now. He has sent me that uh, notice to share with you. And if you have any questions, you can ask now. If you have any emergency, you can call those numbers. Jane, what's the emergency way in this? I repeat, please consult with consult with the embassy. Consult with the consulate. I'm just here to give you this information. Information is powerful. Now I'm to serikali kwa bot TV. I'm do you know what time it is right now here? Hapa ni saa 10 usiku sasa. And because of you, I was actually just about to retire to go to bed. Because of you, I've come here to share this message. Because it's true. Um personally I'm beyond shocked what's going on. I'm observing this conflict very keenly. You guys are seeing what's going on in Israel. You're seeing the, the clash between Israel and Palestine. Okay. Pray for humanity. Yes, that's true. Ciao, that's true. This conflict will definitely escalate. Mama Ji, thank you. Any questions? Any questions so far? Um, the one that I find really sad. Now remember, over 1,000 people have been confirmed dead on both sides. 
Number one. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. So, how are you doing? I'm fine, bro. Um, I think. Mm. Uh, mambo, mambo itendelea kwa mabaya because you know, uh, Hezbollah is, is is stronger than Hamas, and they've said that they'll be in solidarity with Hamas. Mm. So, they mm. they they've expected to be a multi front uh multi front clash from Lebanon. Others are saying they will support from Syria. So this seems like it is going to be a regional a major regional conflict. That's right. So I, I believe that it is very, very important for these people who are especially Kenyans in these areas to be very, very careful and to listen to what you are telling them. Absolutely. Because um, especially with the, with the, you know, and America has sent its strategic um, fleet towards that area. So. It seems like uh, so many parties are going to be involved. So I believe actually we've not even a, a, a arrived at the heightened level of the of the escalation of this conflict. Absolutely. Yeah, so my humble opinion to these people in, uh, that you are giving this uh, uh, notice to, they should really, really pay attention. Absolutely. Because yeah. these things... Absolutely. <laughs> I don't want people coming and crying and saying you are not you are never told. Come on, Maswani. Muliza sai. Namwacha kupuza. When I was having the when I was having the prime time show last night, I told you guys, be paying, it's the high time you start paying attention to what is happening around you. It's so much happening in the world right now that I really find. People are not paying attention to. Because somebody can get crazy me turned out. All you're talking about is just nonsense and garbage. Okay. Shaki is saying, no worries, God is gonna be there with us. My sister, that doesn't mean that you have to be stupid and ignorant. Are you are you serious? Are you paying attention to what's happening right now? Do you know, at Upper America, and I say this yesterday again, Upper DC, there is increased security. We don't know what's going on. Someone is saying, Nelson, help. Mother, people are grown. Is of Sasa Maswali, those kind of questions. That's not, that's not up to me to decide. People, people. I mean, this platform has been. Um, um, uh, I've been here raising awareness and talking to people and telling them. So, skela kupal is kida. Nobody's gonna be. Nobody's. Um, that's not even a conversation. Nikwapa, as I'm talking to you, I'm going to actually play that segment in, for the for the prime time show, uh, Leo Siku. three weeks Lebanon. She's in my inbox crying. What do you even, what do you, what do we, what do, where do we, where, what do you even tell someone to come out here? Okay, it's serious, you. Sato, brother, brother, I'm, Brother, I'm my boss, Ali. Tuchukua na mfanyikazi. Wow. Mkapala kwa place ingine. That's true. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. So, Kenyans Lebanon, are you paying attention? Can you keep on sharing this? Can, can, can you write those numbers? If you have any questions, I can ask them. I'm here with the ambassador right now. You can ask any questions about this. Ntamuliza. Hello, hello, Vio TV. How are you doing, Kings? Mm, your network, please. Network on your side. No, my network is 17. What you talking about? Can you hear? Yeah. Yes. We can hear. You. Stop saying my network. My network is stable, bro. 
Okay, my name is Kingor Gishoke. I'm a journalist, investigative journalist. Okay. Hello. Okay, you are you are a journalist, you are an investigative journalist who doesn't even have who hey, bro, okay. Yes. Yeah, we're listening, bro. I don't understand. Maybe network on your side because on my side network is full. Bro, can you do me a favor? I'm not here for journalists. If you have a okay. question, ask me right now. Stop wasting my time. I'm dealing with a humanitarian situation right now. So don't 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 interrupt my session when I'm talking to my people. Ask your question right now. Um, Betty, kindly in the police contacts, I need to help my sisters in trouble, please. Which country? Which country? Make sure. Go to Lebanon. Number. Seven one one seven five zero zero six and seven zero two three four zero zero six. Where well, Mr. Journalist? Uh, have you fixed your, your, your network? Okay. Watu wa pate will only see me at 11 p.m. Mtu amesema also my boss is an army so alipigiwa kwenda job to fight huko Israel. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you for confirming it. In fact, nikiangalia saa hii, I was actually um i'm watching this um flashpoint give me a second uh actually this uh, fire is not a result of a fighting the fighting had been uh, occurred when uh, a few group from jihad uh, al-islami infiltrated uh, near the village of Dahira in south lebanon which is adjacent to lebanese uh, israeli borders and they clashed with an israeli patrol they, uh, I mean, uh, seven Israelis were being hit, and uh, uh, it's not uh, known. Kunatu wa kuwapa mbao wako southern Lebanon. Any Kenyans in southern Lebanon at the border who are maybe watching right now? This is for you. Mamu ko, okay. Mamu ko na ume, ume experience any Hi. Hi. Are you in Lebanon? Yeah, niko Lebanon. Niko na kuliza. Mm -hmm. uh, mimi niko na miakabili Lebanon, lakini mm -hmm. kwa nyupa enye niko sijambaliza contract. Na nilikuwa nimeambia agent mimi sitaweza kuendelea na miaka bili labda wanipe vacation ya mwezi moja alafu niende nirudi but agent akaniambia ati lazima ni 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 ni, ni, ni chukue ikama ingine is it possible si wanataka kunifugia ama ati akaniambia lazima ni sign id ingine so you will not ID ingine so my sister Kuna pali unikuwa mesaini kwa contract ati wende ufanya kazi mm -hmm. for a few months wende Kenya na hafukuruli Lebanon? Aa, uh, uh, sasa unajua nyumba yenye niko ni kubadisha ni ripadirisha. Sijamaliza, hii nyumba yenye niko ni mpia sijamaliza niko na mwaka moja. Lakini yeah. sasa noveba na maliza miakabidi yagu ya kutoka Kenya. Ya. Yeah. Lakini sasa nikuwa ni miabia agent, juu sasa hii nyumba ni enye niko, nitamaliza tu ya sinikiwa uku, wanipe vacation, niende alafu nirudi. Haka niabia tilazima nichukue ID gine, diyo niwachiriwe. 
mbona 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 nataka kuendelea na kazi na sitaki kuambia na sitaki kurudi mimi sitaki kurudi lakini okay so actually so before so before we talk about this let's first of all i was i was addressing the emergency ambayo iko Lebanon side kwa sababu niko na ambassador hapa right now i'm here with the ambassador okay let me first of all take let me first of all take these critical questions wana ambao mko na maswali what was southern lebanon na baadaye and like uh, beth and like some comments up what was southern lebanon kama kuna mkenya ambaye yuko southern lebanon i'm telling you again make sure you have those two emergency numbers right there 7117 5006 na 7023406 e vita ya palestine na israel now is affecting lebanon and specifically southern lebanon we don't know whether it's going to spread out to other parts in Lebanon but this is just a um a warning message okay mtu anasema anyone here help any police contacts at dubai shanja kuna watu wamefungiwa mahali bila bila nini Okay. Okay, yes, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Are you uko e party kona e place kuko na na vita? Mimi mimi presenye niko mimi nasikia tu malisasi sinalia like mimi bosi yangu brada yake aidet kimi askari bosi yangu akaenda nchi za ile jo anafanyaga kazi nchi za ile akaniesha kwa mama yake sasa Saturday brada yake akakuja akatuambia na kufanya kazi mjitaarishe niwapeleke kwa anti sisi tukajitaanisha akapamia mtenda mkaenda ni this things kwa sababu then wakujie tukasema ni sawa then jana driver akakuja akasema anataka mimi sasa nika nikachakanyuka mimi nikapiga na bosi wangu ame amerudi ongeza sauti my sister ongeza sauti sasa tukiwa kwa jia nikauliza driver unanipeleka wapi kwani mdosi wangu amekuja akaniambia pana na kupeleka kwa mama nikamuuliza anajumuni si mfanyi kazi wa mama kwa nini umenichukua akaniambia brada yake amesema wewe ndiye anataka nikamuuliza kwa nini akaniambia unajua wanakupenda na wanapenda kazi yako mimi nikasema okay sawa mimi kufika kwa nyumba brada yake kitu ya kwanza akanisa uko sawa nikamwambia yeye akaniambia nyumba iko na ushafu nikafanya usafi then kidogo kidogo kaufaidi yake akakuja wakaniuza umekula nikamwambia hapana then akaniambia ni pack bag yangu nikashaganyikwa na wapi tunaenda then nikikuja kwa balkoni ya mlango kulikuwa na mshika hapo nikilosha nikamuza kama ni yule akaniambia hapana usifuze acha zikae tu hapo sasa mimi nikashaka nikiwa ni wapi tunaenda nikakuwa vile wallet juu sasa bado nasikia marisasi sinalia na nilimuwa pata akiona na habari mimi sikushughulika tena saa 9 na nusu nilikuwa nimelala akaniamsha akaniambia mka mka tuende nikamwambia sawa nikamwambia tunaenda wapi akaniambia tunaenda kwa nyumba ya mwajiri wako nikamwambia sawa tukakuja na alikuwa bado amejihami juu ya kile askari pia ye sasa tuko tu hapa ni photo studied sijui wenye kinaendelea but mimi kulikana na vile niliona habari ndiona ni strike na vitu zinaendelea but mimi kwenye niko na zasema ni kosi but tutazidi kuomba na kama ukota kuwa safe tunaleta you know wow wow i mean you guys come out i don't know um i don't know whether you guys are, are really following and paying attention to what's happening with these Israeli Palestine war is not a joke. Tumeona watu wakichinjwa kama mbuzi hapa. Nauliwa kama mbuzi, kama wanyama yani. Okay? So, huyo umesikia akisema kwamba 
pali yuko anasikia anasikia marisasi all these missiles being thrown around that's what she's talking about right now na kumbuka um let me come back here give me one second na kumbuka Hezbollah they are supporting Hamas na kukona camp ya Hezbollah pale southern Lebanon and that's how now that's why this war now has also crossed over to Lebanon as I'm talking to you um, I, I'm reading here that there are some few Hezbollah uh, folks who have been killed again I'm doing this is a special broadcast here at Vote TV this is not the Vote TV prime time so this is a special the ambassador to share this message with my fellow Kenyans in Lebanon that's why I'm here for you next welcome to Vote TV hello yeah hello sasa fi sana uko na mimi niko lepano okay uko uh, uko yeah. ongea ongea my sister okay kwa hii situation yenye tuko nayo tunaomba tu ile watu ombe tuko papaya ifo situ Nico Padineta Palos. Okay, now Niapi Mashudia. Okay, Chana Tioni, eh, Atatu Kudala, Nidale, Wanasema, Muchipak. Any time to Nesa talk up to Neda Malte, Penkina, sir. When I show you a rea quama, at the one I stuck her. Hm, hm. 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 This is, I mean, this thing is not a joke, man. See you on the chair. That's it. Okay, when you party, you can move any time you can move. Yeah. Yeah. At the time, I'm going to imagine. See you on the other side. Marissa, I'm going to see you on the other side. I'm going to see you on the other side. I'm going to see you on the other side. Okay. Guys, I'm telling you guys, can you keep on, can you keep on, listen, can you keep on spreading this message? Also, if you're new here at Vote TV, follow Vote TV on TikTok. Also, if you're new here at Vote TV, subscribe to Vote TV on YouTube because also this coverage will be available on Vote TV YouTube. Mamjero amesema wali hama jana. Okay. Yeah, what do I mean? I want to answer Kwame. Hmm. Kwa hivyo pali uko, um, unasikia hizo marisasi na unaona hizo mamisiles ki... Yeah. Ki yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Salafu shida ya uko unacho wanesa wakakuacha kwa nyumba au watoke. Sa utapake tu kwa nyumba uchi what's up then? Uchi kama wameenda watarudi ama watarudi ifo. Bila bila ningetaka kusema ni kwamba um tafadhali A eh, ningetaka tu upigie tu pigia tu embassy simu. Just to tell them where you are. Umesikia? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just for safety. Let's give you an example. Now, Nikweli, when I saw Katoka Wakwache, what if that happens? 
You see, we don't want that. So, um, guys, we have to, I mean, I have to say of all, we've seen a lot of conflicts. Like in Yakuna conflict, I'm saying wasiwasi. Because everything that touches Israel is not a joke. And now they've said, Israel is saying we are at war. Mama, Mama Leila, uko Lebanon, karibu. No. Asante sana Nelson. Yes. Nilijaribu kukukola haukushika call yangu. Niko leba. Mimi pia nilitupwa nje. Mimi nilikujanga na ofisi ya Mahir. Sasa hizi hata mimi sijui niko wapi Nelson. You serious? What 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 what? Eh sijui hata niko wapi. Niliambiwa ofisi ya Mahir vile ilifungwa nijipange nijue vile nitarudi nyumbani. So mimi Tani, hata sijua hapa ni wapi. Unaweza unaweza fungua kamera. Eh naweza hata nilikutext kwa WhatsApp nikajaribu kukukol nikitupwa nje hauku ni. Yeah, mama Leila, um, ni... Mama Leila. Oh. <laughs> Now. Ndio jambo kuna na, na miss calls ngapi na messages ngapi na vitu ngapi za kudeal nazo mtu mmoja. So Okay. Sawa kwa hapo juu. Hebu fungua kamera. Nimekutumia request. Do you know how to open your camera? Bonyeza hapo. Bonyeza hapo kwa bonyeza hapo kwa picture alafu ubonyeze save. Eliza, Helen is your friend. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now she's here. You see? Now is here. Now you're here. Nataka nataka unipatie information yote of what's going on. Uko nje ama uko wapi? Uko wapi sasa hivi? Uko nje? Eh niko nje na wasichana wengine wa Kenya huku nje. Hebu let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Eh? Okay. Unaona hawa? Hawa ndio wameniofuata nimekuja kwao. Jana. Hizi masiku zote niko tu nje. Hawa wa Kenya wako huko nje. Uko Beirut ama ama uko wapi? Hapa hata sijui ni wapi. Sijui nilikuwa Tripoli. Hapa sijui ni wapi hata. Umsema ni wapi? Umsema anasema ti hata ajui. Hebu ka okay, ka place moja my sister ndio ndio niweza kupata vizuri. Okay. Okay. Ka place moja vizuri. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, so unasema Ebu tuambie ebu ebu nielezee vizuri hii kitu ilianzaje. Ulienda Lebanon lini? Nilikuwa nafaa kurudi Kenya January date 13 but boss mwenye nilikuwa nafanyia alikuwa amesema analeta mtu anaingia this month so nijipange nitoke. Sasa huyo mwenye analetwa anaingia this month ilikuwa nitoke akaniambia toka enda. Akasema na sasa hataki kujua ofisi ilifungwa maira kwa wapi mimi nijipange nifanye nini Na alikupatia tu vitu zako akakutupa nje Eh na passport mahiri alikuwa amenipatia kabla enda alinipea passport yangu akaniambia usipeane passport kwa hiyo nyumba Sasa uko, uko na document yote ambayo uko nayo Niko na passport kuna passport okay okay um utafanya hivi umesema ulikuwa 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 umeniandikia kwa whatsapp uh, my sister eh na umesema majina zako ni ni, ni gani kamili ya ya passport ah, ya majina yako kamili ya, ya nipatie majina yako kamili kwanza majina kamili ya passport ni Helen Hatenje Tony na mtoka hapi nyumbani? Nyumbani ni Kitale. Kitale, goja okay, goja kidogo. Just give, okay, give me a second, okay? Let me let me send this. Um hey, 
my brother, you have to help me. I have, a, I have an emergency case here uh, as, I, as I keep on addressing the issue of what's happening in, the, um, in Lebanon. I have another emergency. I have a, a Kenyan by the name Helen Katejo who actually was dumped, was thrown out by her employer and she's now stranded somewhere she doesn't even know she, she doesn't even know where exactly where she is uh she has her passport um can you kindly advise what i should what we can do in her case um since when helen since the date 23 last month and last month, in Nikitu Poinja, your day in the only Jaribu Kukukol calls up, Kuk Texi calls up. Now Mako is a five badges, Sasa. Sasa who Quinja will not survive Kuna Kamasa is in our Stano Utopia and Omeningiza. And may survive to Nila Langes from Billy Inja to Varanda. Okay, guys, again, welcome to the next one. Okay, I'll say my eyes, you get my hearing, and I'll fuck you. I'll get up a Lebanon, you'll get a Rudy Kenya. Now, you're the Kungiana of Isaka Kenya. Ofisi ya Kenya la kuna wakati nilinyang'anywa simu simu ikadilitiwa kila kitu Mba. Okay hata sasa hizi hata namba yako sasa hizi kwa hiyo laini yenye ilidilitiwa ilienda hivyo kwa hiyo namba yenye nilikuwa ngani nimekuchati zamani nikiwa na problem kwa hiyo nyumba Kuna mtu ametai hapa akasema I can go Goja Nimefungua oza Goja Henry eh? Kuna mtu ametai papa I can talk to her apate kazi she is a good woman Helen Nandwa unamjua Hapana Okay I don't know Helen Nandwa uko wapi Where is Helen Nandwa Uko Dubai Okay now huyu ako Lebanon my sister Ako Dubai Do you know someone in uh, let me see. What are you doing? Helen Nando, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to ski, okay? Helen, you have to get a contract for January? I was going to say January, but I was going to say that I'm going to go this month. Next month, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house in Kenya. Okay, okay. Wakati alikuambia hivyo, Helen umefanya kazi, kwa hivyo umefanya kazi let's say miezi 22 kwa hiyo nyumba. Miezi 20, si ndio? Yeah, tangu last year. Okay. So my sister, mbona kufikiria basi basi mbona kusema yes usijilipia ticket? Ama 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 uko mese, ama uko au kama kulipa? Hata sijalipwa miezi miwili, alafu pia Nelson Hata hiyo kulipwa miezi miwili alisema halipi. Sasa ikifika end manzi ni vita ni vita. So mimi hawa wasichana ndio wanajaribu kunisaidia. Walikuwa nasema kama naweza pata mtu akunitengenezea ticket wanaweza nipea kitu 200 dollars then ni ilipe ticket. Okay. Katu 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 hapo. So let me so let, watch, watch, so let me ask you a question Helen. Helen Nandwa, let's start with Helen. Helen Nandwa kuna mtu mwingine pia hapa anaitwa Helen Nandwa ameingia hapa. Helen Nandwa uh um, you can help you can help um helen hello hello helen talk uh sasa fitana uh mimi niko na connection i used to work in lebanon way back and i have a very good connection we still in contact up to date she's a very good woman but shida ya wa kenya ni unaweza peleka mtu pale mtu anze kusumbua unajua mi yeah. kama unataka kazi na hataki kurudi kenya Sahi. She's a very good woman. Nimtu, I can vouch for. Like, 
alinitreat kama dada yake and we still in contact ni mtu anajua Mungu she's a Christian so okay. i can sit down with her mm-hmm. and if she wants a job nijaribu kuongea na yeye okay and then najua anaweza mpatia kazi because sai hana mtu okay so there's that so there you go we have that suggestion number one, the god of otv never lets us down so umekuja hapa helen sai now helen swali mwesikie yes. vile helen amesema what is what wait a minute i got to say Okay, what you say Helen Lebanon and Helen Dubai because I both of your both of you you call you you call Helen. Yeah. Um now uh Helen Lebanon umesikia vile no. umesikia vile umeambiwa what do you say? Nelson nimesikia but mimi naona hii mwezi ikiisha nitoe tu pesa nilipe ticket nirudi nyumbani. Okay. Maybe okay. unite ushughulike tu vile naweza lipa hiyo ticket nirudi home the end of this month so so in, in other words helen bila, bila nasikia na mdomo wako kiniambia ni kwamba hata pesa ya ticket huna is that true sai sina that's a point sai sina eh una pesa ya ticket my sister but the but the end of this month pesa itakuwa imeonekana ya ticket okay unapanga una, unapanga kupata hiyo ticket kupata hiyo pesa aje unatumia kutoka nyumbani ama kuna my kazi ni hako huku okay uko na hiyo kazi na Lebanon eh hako huku ndiye alikuwa amesema atatoa hiyo 250 apeane kama ni ticket okay okay so vile nda suggest basi umesema okay. okay. unajua kutuma location na na whatsapp helen unajua utafanya hivi my sister utanitumia okay nda hivi this is my suggestion okay. Okay. okay this is my suggestion okay okay Na, number one, nitaongea na ambassador okay okay upate okay. upate mbinu ya kutoka hapo uende kwa shelter ya consulate okay ukienda pale kwa kwa shelter ya consulate ukipokelewa na consulate then Utseme ya kwamba unagojea pesa yako ilipwe upate pesa ya ticket usafiri end of the month then you'll be under the protection of the consulate in Lebanon. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a plan? Simasema kuna passport yako na kila kitu. Niko na passport pia. Niko nazo ni passport na contract papers niko nazo. Okay. So Uh, again guys goja helen we don't force people here she's a grown woman she's a mature woman she's made that decision so don't 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 even go there she wants to go back home let her, let her just go back home we respect her decision that's it okay on the fanya kazi uh 20 months uko unasikia yana mbona amepitia even the way she's talking if you look at her she doesn't look that like she's in a good state she needs to heal Okay. So um kwa hivyo Helen tafadhali fanya hivi utashuka just shuka u make sure mtumie location yako. Okay. Lakini ngoja kwanza kaa tu hapo kwa sababu nimeandikia ni kaa tu hapo kwa sababu nimeandikia nimeandikia ambassador ngoja kidogo ni make this announcement. Again guys welcome to this broad this are special broadcast here at Go TV. Kama kuna mkenya yote ambaye yuko Lebanon You guys as you know or you as if you don't know vita ya Israel na Palestine has affected the southern border in Lebanon and I've received a courtesy call from the consulate from the ambassador to share with my fellow Kenyans who are working in Lebanon not only that hata kama kuna family kuna familia kuna Kenyan families ambazo Let me drop you Helen because you know you're making noise. Okay. So who ujumbe pia ufikie wale watu wa Kenya? If you have any family members who are working in Lebanon, especially the southern Lebanon, please write down those numbers. Zikopa kwa screen. 
okay? 7117-5006 na kuna 7023400. Um let's talk to this sister. My sister mbaya yuko Lebanon. Umesema padu lipo ah uh, unasikia mlipuko wa risasi um for how many days tangulini kwanza jana kwanza jana yeah okay 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 so um any kenyans in lebanon as we continue we come Do we have anyone who's watching this broadcast who's in Lebanon right now? Mekonoju. Do we have any Kenyans in Kenya who have their relatives or their children in Lebanon? Mekonoju. Beth is here. Grace. Okay. Good. Good. Now that can you what a Mandika is on numbers? All of you. Make sure you write down those numbers. Okay, no, no, okay. I see we have a lot of Kenyans. Okay, good, good. Okay, there you go. Have you written down those numbers? 7117506. And if you're new here at Vote TV, Follow the host, follow Vote TV on TikTok, and don't forget to subscribe to Vote TV on YouTube as we continue to grow. Okay. Don't forget 11 p.m. Kenyan time, Kama Kawaida will be here with the Vote TV Prime Time Show, with the official Vote TV Prime Time Show. But this information will be all over the place. Beth. Can you please focus? 7117506. And the second number is 7023400. So kijipata ukiwa kwa shida kwa sababu ya hii mambo inaendelea. You can call the consulate. The families are moving around. And let me let me let me let me say this loud and clear. Don't underscore the conflict that is happening right now between Israel and Palestine. It's going to affect all of us. This conflict is going to affect all of us. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me now. Come on, I'll call, I'll ask the ambassador. He's right here with me. I can only do so much. I don't want people to be calling me and crying out in my inbox the 11th hour. Okay. Harriet Kumbuka, Iraq, Akuna, Consulate, Ama Embassy, Kenya. My sister, my brother. There you go. Let me welcome Uamba Mekujapa, Jamila. Uh, hello, Mike. Hi. How are Lebanon? you? Fine, thank apana, apana, apana. Apana, I'm not in Lebanon, I'm in Kenya. But I was okay. in Dubai. Oh, you're in Dubai, okay. I was in Dubai, but currently I'm in Kenya. Okay, go ahead, Camila. Yeah. Uh, I, I just came in, Sija, Sija, Ndiyo ni mengia sahi live, eh? 
sorry okay. on uh, the crisis of Lebanon though I had an yes. issue but I don't know if you'll address it now or later uh what is it about depends uh no it's about the this coming issue of uh, oh, I just wow. followed that, you one, that one is a whole book that one huh? is a whole book that one is a it's a whole book you ain't Aisha but go ahead about about but, this rogue agent about these rogue agencies yes especially this anita one i am so oh. sad Yanni, a, a lady can do that huh you know, you know you know she's going to court on the 12th right he, she she has our money and uh, now the matusi uh she's saying uh tiktok uko ni kwa mafala yeye anataka aonekane mali kama citizen or ktn that is where she can be scared She's not scared Jamila. by this. Uh, uh, Jamila. Space. Yes. Jamila, that's utter yes, nonsense. It's... When she hears about TV, she in about TV and Akojua Raibena. Let me tell you this. Number one, you know she was arrested, right? You know that. Yes, I I saw I saw on your live. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Then she then, mm -hmm. then Akojua for one one full week, right? So yeah. all that talk, all that talk she's talking right now. The two could you kill her? And then the two could you pick a kifua? And I just pick a kifua bure. My sister. That woman mm -hmm. right now I'm talking to you. She has 72 pending cases waiting for her in Nairobi. What the are you DCI, saying? 72? The, excuse me. The DCI uh -huh. is waiting for uh -huh. her in Nairobi after Mombasa. After that, what? excuse me. After that, Anagojua Nakuru. Mm -hmm. After that, Anagojua Eldoret. Mm -hmm. Anita, I've, we've I've actually cut. Come and see the story. Ya, ya Sinad. Brimak na um uh, Bidaya. Anita uh -huh. is at the top because her because her um her scam her Ponzi scheme is what is uh -huh. six million shillings on paper. Yeah, six million shillings. She's she's an ice cold narcissist. Omg, that is serious. Okay, huh? excuse me. Imagine when she was under police custody, amefungiwa uh -huh. But guess what? Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. alikuwa ameachiliwa kaya na simu, and she's texting people, asking them for money. Ati na apeleka Dubai. Ati wea di papali. Akiwa ameshikwa? Yes. Enyewe ni sugu. Nisugu yeah. kapisa? Ndiyo yo. Mm. I'm talking about a psychopath. A psychopath. She's a psychopath. That, that is a, a one psychopath. For real. Yeah. So do this. Mm. Don't worry about it. Okay? Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. All I'm going to tell you okay. is because everything, all the victims, they all have receipts. Um, okay. You saw yesterday, by the way, and I, I don't know why you finance, you fail to participate in the Mandamano Jana. Because uh -huh. what you want here, this is the only way once we mm -hmm. now once we start hitting the streets and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we keep on raising awareness okay that's what we're doing here at vote tv every day on my prime mm -hmm. time show every day victims are coming mm -hmm. here um mm -hmm. to come to like one of my highest um victims has lost 1.5 million shillings oh mg shillings that's a lot How of money happen? i'm a chukuna mm -hmm. and excuse me you know the way you're told dubai then you go uh -huh. and call you call the whole village? Uh-huh. Uh, we've got a long way to go, by the way, on this one. We've got a whole book. It is. Yeah, yeah it's a whole book. So let me tell and, and let me actually admit, mention that here right now. In terms of, when it comes to the rogue agencies and all these kinds of that's been going on with 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 the vibes of the job. Hey, where who that? When we have enough, don't bring the noise up here. So, Skiza, mm -hmm. I, I can tell you that we can run this thing right now. As I'm talking to you, then let, let me let this message go out. As I'm talking to you, I have 1726 cases in my file on Anita. No, no, in general. Mm -hmm. Oh, in general, uh huh? Did, did you hear what I said? One thousand yes. six. That's a lot. And counting. 
Now, those are the ones mm -hmm. that I've got. Those are the ones that they've reached out to me. Uh huh. Um. Oh, Akwapi Nani, Akwapi Helen. The ambassador Helen. has replied. The one who was here. Akwapi or Helen? Oh. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, Mike, uh, thank you so much for your time and thank you for the good job. Keep going. We are here for you. We are supporting Sisi Ndio Wengi. Sisi Ndio Wengi. Sisi Ndio Wengi. No, Fanya, if you send, send, send me all the receipts and everything in uh, Kwabo TV WhatsApp, okay? Now you can probably Kwabo. Okay, okay, okay. I'll send you. Okay. Guys, thank you so where much. Is, um, where is... I'll copy your Helen Ambali. Where is Helen? I'll copy your Helen Ambali. When I'm going to disappear. Where is Helen, the one who was here, the, the, the lady in Lebanon, from Lebanon? The ambassador has replied. Akwapi? I go up your channel. Oh my God. Everything is possible. So again, welcome to this special edition of the uh, Vote TV primetime show right here, the breakfast show. Let me tell you this, guys. Um, we are addressing the issue of what's going on in Lebanon. Like I told you, as you can see my backdrop, the ambassador has reached out to me and given me this update to share with all Kenyans in Lebanon, especially those in the southern region. The Kenyan consulate in Beirut calls on all Kenyan nationals to be cautious and stay away from the areas of crisis. Which crisis? The Israel-Palestine war has also affected Lebanon. Yeah, no German members of Lebanon are stress ya stress ya 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 stima yotunajua. Okay, so the Kenyan consulate has placed at your disposal the emergency number 711-75006 and the number 702-34006. Okay, Helen, I my request to you Okay, she's back. I my request. Helen, to my request to Fadali. The ambassador has replied. Right now, Tafadali. Right now. Please don't miss this opportunity. Yeah. If it uh, Israel and Palestine to Mchezo, what wanna change your It's I mean it's the worst thing. It's the worst thing. BZB, the number is not a Kenyan number. Akwapi Helen. Kiki is saying you have a friend in Israel. Now, agree on one thing. Kenyans in Lebanon, have you taken notes? Mumendika, your number. Have you all written this number? Don't forget we have our prime time show at 11 p.m. Kenyan time tonight. Don't forget that. We've written, sorry, we have our prime time show tonight at 11 p.m. So we'll address this story again. 711-75006. And the second number is 702 Three four zero zero six, and this is Lebanese number. It's not a Kenyan number. It's Kwawale Ambawa ko Lebanon. So maybe let's say, for example, let's say come to Kenya, and you have concerns about maybe your daughter, a brother, a sister, or maybe even a brother if there are any men out there. Then don't forget to put in the country code, the Lebanon.
Okay? If you're new here at Vote TV, make sure you follow the host. Make sure you follow this platform as we continue to grow. Not just say beside new water and If you have not subscribed to the Vote TV YouTube channel.